guys i'm just from having a very very intimate and you know kind of disagreement and conversation with my mom you guys my mom was out this time around i remember sometime i used to tell you guys oh my parents are not bothered about my non-marital status you know being in my 30s they have you know removed their hands on my case you guys my mom meant it to do hey she called me and she was like i need to have a conversation with you i left the house so i went to her place only for her to start this whole marriage thing again because i thought we were all done you know when you feel like okay my parents don't really bother that much and i mean they used to be so bothered but this time around that he moved their hand on my case and i don't know i'm sure she probably went to church today and her friend was talking about marriage here and there with their kids as well i'm sure that's what prompted this discussion and you guys it was not the healthiest ever because i couldn't stand it <laughs> my mom was just going on and on and on i'm like ah, mom it's okay now these reasons you're telling me is it's, it's, it's not the case okay it's not the case all right so guys i want to officially welcome you guys to today's video i'm going to be sharing with you guys what my parents think of me not married at 30 and i'm going to be sharing some of those reasons she gave okay <laughs> even though i played a part of my mom but yeah so recently i've been having conversations with my mom and my dad and you guys they gave me the most weird reasons ever as to why i'm still single and not married so i just started to come here and share with you guys what my parents think of me not married at 30 and <laughs> i don't know it just feels weird but it's, yeah so if you're interested in this video please keep watching hey guys what's up and welcome back to my youtube channel my name is mercy dari i am a cameron based content creator i film videos on beauty fashion and lifestyle and also do relatable topics from here and there and vlogs as well so if you will be interested in joining the family please do exactly what you see on the screen by clicking on the red subscribe button it is free 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 and at the end of the video i would love to know if you relate if you are a young girl not married maybe you're 20 or your late 20s in your early 30s or in your late 30s and you have been struggling with such conversations with your mom your dad maybe any relative like your aunt or uncle whosoever i would love to know if you relate okay and the reason i'm going to be giving here i would love to know if that's one of those reasons you are also getting like from them as to why you are not yet married okay so the first thing my parents think i am still single and not married is because they think i'm lazy <laughs> lazy in the sense that because i am not a fan of the kitchen they just feel like okay maybe the guys i've been dating have realized that uh this girl doesn't like the kitchen maybe i don't cook for them you know and they feel like i'm not a wife material you guys <laughs> as much as i am not a fan of the kitchen doesn't mean i don't know how to cook that's one thing i always explain to my parents like that is not the case i know how to cook i'm not just a fan of the kitchen i'm not just that person that wants to just try you know new recipes all the time i do recipes here on this channel from time to time and it's a very good thing because i get to learn when i'm dating someone and he wants a homemade food i always do my best to prepare that because of course i'm going to be eating as well right it's not like i'm cooking for him he's he's, he's going to be the one to eat alone of course i'm also going to eat the food so it's always a pleasure for me to go to the kitchen and cook and one thing that brings me joy i think i've explained it on this channel is that when i cook and someone eats oh my god it's the best feeling ever and i feel like i am improving I'm learning new recipes because for example if i get to you know date a, a guy from the northwest region and he loves achu i don't know how to prepare achu but just because i love this guy i will learn how to prepare achu you get so laziness is out of the way <laughs> when it comes to the kitchen and yeah because my parents know me so well i am not a fan of the kitchen and i just feel like okay since 
the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Maybe that is why I'm not yet married because maybe when I'm dating somebody and you know I don't cook for them and they're like no you're not just a wife material whatsoever but they forget to know that <laughs> I might not be cooking for them but I cook for the guys okay <laughs> the second reason why my parents think I am still single at 30 is that they believe I have high taste in choosing men you guys there's one thing in this life I was not born to suffer <laughs> I was not born to suffer okay my parents brought me up we were not that rich and we we're not poor but my father made sure he provided for my every need okay I'm, I'm not a spoiled brat whatsoever because my parents were very very disciplined if you try beat they will beat the living their life out of you however they will still they still went ahead to provide all our needs we went to boarding schools and you know boarding schools now they are expen expensive and we will never we never lack when it comes to food you know we never lack in anything so i don't think <sighs> me getting into a relationship with a man who cannot provide at least two square meals a day is something i want to rush into no i'll not I, I will not guys i will not in fact if you know me if you know me personally i am baby soft too <laughs> i am baby soft however i would love to grow with someone who is you know who is willing to put in the effort into becoming a better person i wouldn't want to date someone who because i don't have money he just sleeps around like he doesn't go out to hustle i mean it's your hustling spirit that will make me to believe that okay there's a brighter future ahead of us it's, you still have prospects i mean if things are not working today very well i mean in the next one or two months or three months or six or two one year i know things are going to get better because i'm seeing that pushful nature in you but if you are just a lazy ass man waiting for everybody to chew and put food into your mouth no 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 i would rather stay single okay i just want somebody who knows what he's doing who works hard to put food on the table who's going to work hard to build a family you know when the babies start coming in at least there's some money somewhere to care take care for them i wouldn't want my babies to suffer i wouldn't want myself to suffer in fact i wouldn't want my family to suffer in any way again to that point i wouldn't want to get into a relationship that I'm going to start experiencing domestic violence. I will not. I would rather stay single and be happy than get into a relationship where I'll start regretting. Yeah. And nah, that is not me, okay? The next reason why my parents think I am still single is because they think I am too hot tempered and I might not be able to, you know, control myself in my marriage. All right, guys. So if you know stammerers or stutterer, we do have high temper our tempers are so <laughs> high that i mean sometimes when when we talk we talk with a little, with a lot of authority we struggle to talk and with that it kind of make us to have high temper okay i do, i don't beat people i don't support domestic violence because i know this domestic violence thing is two way it can happen to the man and, and it can also happen to the woman when i was Till we younger, I used to have so much temper that my mom would be like, ha. And see, if you continue with this kind of temper, I don't know if any man will want to keep you in his house. As I'm growing older, I get to realize that, hey, it's not all about me, okay? I need to also compromise. I need to work on my temper. The temper stuff is just when you annoy me, you take me for a fool or you take advantage of me. That's when I really, really will descend on you <laughs> so my parents just feel like okay maybe i do exercise that hot temper in my relationships and the men have <laughs> the men are running away from me hell no i have grown to be a very very good listener i have grown to control my temper if i don't tell you you won't even know that that is who i am okay the reason my parents think i am still single and not married is that they just believe maybe my past relationships are affecting me like i wouldn't want to get into a relationship and experience the same thing due to my past relationship right like my past relationships are kind of preventing me from you know getting into a relationship that will lead to marriage i think that was that is also a 50 50 yes and no because the past will always ring a bell in our heads but it's not going to prevent me from giving a chance to someone who loves me, who cares about me, and who wants to settle down with me, okay? 
that is never going to be an excuse for me staying single never okay however it still plays an important role in just guiding us like once beaten twice shy don't fall a victim if you were once a victim to this particular situation in your relationship try not to fall a victim again when you get to a new relationship okay the approach you took while in that relationship is going to definitely be a different approach you're going to handle a particular situation in your new relationship right so that shouldn't be an excuse for just you know being like okay all men are the same hell no all men are not the same there are still some very good men out there just wait for god's time and go to direct you to your man okay yeah so last but not least as to why my parents think i am still single not married they just feel like it's a spiritual problem <laughs> now I am from a tribe where it is well known that we do practice witchcraft. That our level of witchcraft in my village is something else. Like it surpasses all other witchcrafts in different villages. I am from Bakosi. Yes, I know when I mention that. Whenever I mention this particular tribal name or this particular name, people are like, hmm, which people? I don't chop on a picking the for <laughs> for which that is always the case okay it's always the case that's the kind of reaction i get and it always just breaks my heart maybe there's one uncle somewhere that is like preventing me from getting married stuff like that you get so when it comes to you know village and witchcraft and tribe and all that they just feel like okay maybe that's the reason why i'm still single maybe one auntie somewhere in the village is preventing me from you know shining my shine <laughs> so it's always things like that the jealousy is too much and that is always one hell of a kiss okay so yeah that is it that's a conversation i've been having with my parents i don't blame them and it's okay for you to think whatever you want to think but i still love them <laughs> i still love them regardless yeah they're just parents they're worried of course they want to carry their grandchild from me you know and all that so guys that's all the reason today's video if you relate in any of these points i mentioned please leave it down in the comment section and let's talk about it okay thank you guys so much for watching today's video please if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and give the video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next one bye